Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, and I'd like to show you how easy it can be to create a Six Sigma improvement project using the QI macros in Microsoft Excel. So here you have some data that was from a uh, manufacturing company that makes aluminum sheeting. You can see our scrap weight over here, and so we'd like to reduce scrap weight, obviously. But we have so many different things going on here, how do we actually start to figure out what we need to do to fix that? Well, the first thing we could do is turn this into a pivot table. All right, so we could take date and scrap weight and go into our text and data mining wizard and choose pivot table wizard. And that would give us by date our scrap weights. So we could take all of that data and that becomes our control chart. So we just choose the control chart, the individual's chart. So you can see we have our scrap weight. We have some out of control scrap days. We had some below control, a run and below control. We might want to know what we were doing there, right? Uh, so that would be a way to do that. So now we can come back into our pivot table and we could get rid of date and we could look at it by machine. If we look at it by machine, we could take that data and turn that into a Pareto chart. And here you can see machine one is causing 69% of the total scrap. And so we don't have to worry about all the other machines. All we have to do is worry about machine one. All right, so this narrows our focus. This is what I call the 450 rule. One thing is causing most of the waste rework, lost profit. So we go back to the scrap weight. Now we could take machine one, we could double click on here, and that will bring up all the data behind it. All right, so if I double click on that, we can see on machine one, here's all the reason for scrap. And we could actually go in here and look at what's the most common cause of scrap. So we could take, just click on that heading and the QI macros choose Pareto chart. And it would go out and figure out the most common cause of scrap on machine one. And we can see surface cracks is 25%, warm up 43%, transition, 60, almost 60% 60 bad shape, 70%. Uh, so warm up, we probably can't do anything about, but the big bar is surface cracks. So now we could actually go ahead and create a fishbone diagram using surface cracks as our main gizmo. So we could go to the fishbone diagram. I'm just gonna go to the small fishbone. I'm gonna move or copy that into our scrap data worksheet. And so during whatever time that was, I think that was 2007 or something, uh, cracks accounted for 25% of scrap, which was higher than desired and caused customer dissatisfaction. So now we have a control chart, a Pareto chart, and within that we've looked at for that one machine, which is most of the things, surface cracks is a big problem. And so now we have uh, the whole fishbone diagram. So another way to look at this on machine one is we have the reason for scrap. We might want to know what it looks like by scrap weight. So if we click on that heading, column C, hold down the control key, click on scrap weight, we can go back to the data mining wizard and choose pivot table wizard. And this will summarize all of our data here. I could actually sort that in descending order. But now what we have is data we can use to create, again, another Pareto chart. And so here you can see scrap weight, not just occurrences, but surface cracks, warm up, transition, bad shape, edge cracks. These top five are really 80% of our total. And if we can figure out how to fix that, then we're gonna be in great shape to solve this particular problem and reduce scrap, reduce rework, and reduce uh, the costs involved in all of that. So that's how easy to, it is to build an improvement project in Microsoft Excel using the QI macros. Now, with the addition of the new data mining wizard, we could have selected date and scrap weight, clicked on the data mining wizard, and the data mining wizard would have gone ahead and created the pivot table, created the control chart, create the Pareto charts for each one of these different columns. It wouldn't quite drill down like it might have on the other one, 
but what we can find here is the start of our whole story. So again, we'd have the control chart of scrap weight by date, by reason code, and here you can see uh, across, generally across all this stuff, service cracks are just not 20% of the total, but they're still kind of big transition. So here we have machine one. So we might still have to drill down into machine one and find out again that service cracks are our number one type of problem on machine one. So again, this is a very simple and straightforward way to build an entire Six Sigma improvement project in a matter of minutes using QI macros and Microsoft Excel.